Hello everyone, and welcome back to 1000 Verses channel, your go-to channel for all things biblical knowledge and trivia. In today's episode, we'll be exploring a wide range of questions that will challenge your understanding of the Bible's stories, teachings, and history. If you enjoy testing your biblical wits and expanding your understanding of the Word, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Are you ready to dive into the world of Bible trivia? Let's get started! Question 1. What did Abigail give David to apologize for her husband's behavior? The answer is food and wine. 1 Samuel chapter 25, verse 18. Nabal, Abigail's husband, insulted David and his men, but Abigail quickly apologized by sending donkeys with food and wine. Upon learning of her actions, Nabal died. Question 2. What was the name of David's first wife? The answer is Michal, 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 27. Saul promised David his oldest daughter, but gave her to someone else. He then promised him Michal, whom he married. Question 3. What kind of plant does Rachel ask Leah to give her to increase her fertility? The answer is mandrake, Genesis chapter 30, verse 14. Rachel says to Leah, Give me, I pray thee, of thy son's mandrakes. Question 4. What was the sign not to slay the people in Rahab's house? The answer is a scarlet thread in the window, Joshua chapter 2, verse 18. Rahab sheltered and aided the spies, facilitating their escape with a rope. They promised that a scarlet thread in her window would spare her household during the Israelite conquest. Question 5. In the age of King Herod, who was Elizabeth's father? The answer is Aaron, Luke chapter 1, verse 5. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias, of the division of Abijah. His wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Question 6. What are we not to be? The answer is, servants of men, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 23. Our allegiance should only be to God. Question 7. Why did Peter and the other apostles disobey the high priest? The answer is, they wanted to obey God. Acts chapter 5 verse 29. The apostles knew that God is the supreme leader, not the high priest.
Question 8. Why did the preacher of Ecclesiastes praise the dead more than the living? The answer is, no justice for the oppressed. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 1. King Solomon praises the dead more than the living to emphasize the book's central theme, the fleeting and futile nature of human life and endeavors. This contrast highlights that the dead have found rest from life's vanities. Question 9. The belt in the armor of God represents what? The answer is truth. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 14. Stand your ground, putting on the sturdy belt of truth. Question 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? The answer is knowledge. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Question 11. What did God use Nebuchadnezzar to do to Jerusalem and Judah? The answer is, exile the people. 1 Chronicles chapter 6, verse 15. Nebuchadnezzar Seku, ruler of Babylon, conquered Judah and Jerusalem, exiling the Israelites. Question 12. What special task did the descendants of Aaron perform? The answer is making offerings to God. 1 Chronicles chapter 6 verse 9. Aaron and his descendants were priests responsible for making God offerings atoning for Israel's sins. Question 13. Judeans were taken into exile where? The answer is Babylon, 1 Chronicles, chapter 9, verse 1. God allowed the nobility of Israel and Judah to be carried away to Babylon as punishment for their transgressions. Question 14. How did the Israelites declare David their new king? The answer is anointing with oil over his head. 1 Chronicles chapter 11, verse 3. And they anointed David king over Israel, according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. Question 15. Where is David anointed king of the house of Judah? The answer is Hebron, 2 Samuel chapter 2, verse 1. David is anointed king of Judah at Hebron.
Question 16. Who were the Corinthians not to keep company with? The answer is sexual immoral people. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 9 to 11. Paul was cautioning the Corinthians to watch their associations. Question 17. Who should keep themselves from idols? The answer is children of God. 1 John chapter 5, verse 21. Children of God, often referred to as little children, should keep from putting anything above God in their lives. Question 18. A deceiver is also a what? The answer is Antichrist, 2 John chapter 1, verse 7. Anti signifies being against or opposed to. If you are a deceiver, you cannot be aligned with Christ. Question 19. We should be fellow helpers to what? The answer is truth, 3 John chapter 1, verse 8. Christians should promote truth at all times. Question 20. What did the Lord command Moses to teach the Hebrews in the desert? The answer is Statutes and Judgments, Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 14. Statutes and Judgments, such as the Ten Commandments, and a myriad of other laws, such as dietary and cleanliness. Question 21. Why should you not believe every spirit? The answer is false prophets. 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Test every spirit, as there are many false prophets. A false prophet will not confess Jesus Christ. Question 22. What is said of whom the Lord commendeth? The answer is approved. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 18. For not he that commendeth himself is approved, but whom the Lord commendeth. Question 23. How does all Scripture come to us? The answer is, by inspiration of God, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God.
Question 24. Who did Stephen talk about when he said he could not so much as to set his foot on? The answer is Abraham. Acts chapter 7 verse 5. Stephen reminded the counsel of God's promise to Abraham. Question 25. What prophet did the Ethiopian eunuch read when Philip met him? The answer is Isaiah, Acts chapter 8, verse 30. The Ethiopian eunuch studied on his own, but did not understand Isaiah's words. If you enjoyed the quiz, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Let's have your thoughts and comments about our quiz in the comments section below.